My mom made it. And my mom made it. My grandma made it. And my mom, her grandma, made it. And today, we're making the best homemade classic meatloaf. Meat Welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red, and I'm Sheila. And I'm Jennifer. And today we have got a classic recipe. It is a classic. It's something that I grew up on and had it all the time. Me too. And made sandwiches out of it. Oh, there's nothing better than leftover meatloaf sandwiches. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I love them. And you know, most people already have most of these ingredients in their pantry or their refrigerator and it's just an easy dinner to make for the family. It is. And everybody loves it that I know, so we're gonna make this today. And so we've got all our ingredients out here. So I'm gonna get my little handy dandy gloves on here because things are the, fixing to get busy. Yeah, get those gloves on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fixing to get messy and busy. You don't have to do this. You could take your rings off and just use your hands like grandma did, but I'm gonna use the gloves today just so I don't have to go through all that. And so we've got our ground beef, and this is just 8515 ground beef. You can use whichever ground beef you'd like to use, but that's what we're using today. So we're starting off with two pounds of our ground beef, and I'm just gonna put this in the bowl. So the first thing we're gonna add to this is our onion. Yeah, one large onion. And this is already chopped up and ready to go. Got it chopped fairly small. This is a pretty good size onion. So we've also got some seasoned breadcrumbs. Now, this is what I have on hand today, but you can use- You can use crackers, you can use oats. You can use bread where people have taken off the crust of the bread and just put a little milk to soften it up. You can use that. But today we're gonna use just regular old seasoned breadcrumbs. One cup of breadcrumbs, because mm -hmm. that's what we have. Now we've got a couple eggs. I usually do one egg per pound of meat. I mean, some people do a little bit different, but that's what I like to do. Makes it easier, so I'm just gonna crack an egg over that. Try not to, try not to get them shells in there. <laughs> don't do that, girl. No, don't do the shells. Don't want none of that shell stuff in there now. That, that won't taste very good. If it gets crunchy, we'll know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> if there's some crunch in there, don't mind it. It's Jen's egg shells that are still in there. Crunch. Now, we've got ketchup here, so we're gonna use this cup of ketchup. I have a tablespoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper, because pepper is always a little bit more powerful than, than the salt is, so I do always do a little bit less of the, the pepper. Next, we have one tablespoon of garlic powder and onion powder. Yes, a tablespoon of each, and we'll sprinkle that in there. And then we've got Sheila's favorite word, Sauce. Sauce, the W sauce. Yeah, <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. We've got two and a half tablespoons of oh. Worcestershire sauce. There you go. There we go. And I'm fixing to get busy and start mixing, so. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, 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 here we go. And you, want, you don't wanna over mix this. You just wanna fold it in and get, get it mixed up, but just don't over mix. No, or overthrow. No, don't, yeah, don't, don't be throwing it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila will be eating the raw meat, I promise. <laughs> no, I, go, I got my limits. <laughs> yeah, she has limits. Not gonna go there. And it doesn't take very long to mix this up. All right. So I'm gonna get our little dish out here that we're gonna put it in. I'll set this aside. We've got our glass dish and I'm, I'm flinging I'm flinging meat we've got our glass dish it's already been sprayed with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray Sheila did and that's just to help for easier cleanup at the end so all right so I'm gonna to put this in the bowl some people put Reynolds wrap down and stuff like that oh yeah but there's good but this will work yes it will and we're just gonna make sure that we shape this and get this all in get every bit before I take these gloves off let me get all the let me get all the good stuff at the bottom here Okay, so now that we've got it all shaped, and you can see I just kind of like moved it away from the edges, uh, just so that there's room for the, the grease from the meat and stuff to kind of settle in there on the side, and also make it easier to get out. So, ketchup, and you can use this very generously. We like ketchup. I know some people use tomato paste, but we're using ketchup because ketchup is sweet, 
and I'm not holding back on the ketchup. We're gonna just, we're gonna use a whole bottle if we have to, and we might. You are. I am. And don't brush it too much because we want to leave it nice and thick. Just lightly baste it, just kind of just spread it all out evenly. Aww. Don't want to take it off, we just want to make it nice and smooth. So we've preheated our oven to 350 degrees and we're going to put this in there uncovered for about 50 minutes to an hour, just depends on your oven, so keep an eye on it and we'll be back. We took this out of the oven and we let it sit for 15 minutes. And it was in there for about an hour and five minutes. So you'll want to check your oven and make sure that it gets done like you want it to get done. But it's usually about an hour on 350 degrees. So, and it looks delicious. I cannot wait I to know. dig in. Hurry up. You gonna do it or you me too? Well, let's plate up. Oh, wow. Doesn't this look good? It is. Look, look at, at that. Mmm. <sighs> I'm ready. I'm ready too. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm that is so good. And the flavor, you can just taste it all. I know. The it's ketchup the... on top is really good. I know. Mom always made it with ketchup. I love ketchup on top. It's just delicious. You did good, Mom. Thanks. You're good. <laughs> well, as Steve would say, is this the best homemade classic, classic meatloaf? meatloaf? If it ain't, it ought to be. Thanks for watching and liking. And subscribing. And sharing with all of your friends. We really appreciate you. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook. And Twitter. Instagram. And all of our links are right below this video. And we really appreciate you. And we'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Well, that's she, she and Jen, Jen. Them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.